Welcome to our lecture online. So what do we do when we have a minus b to some exponent instead of a plus b, a negative sign in our binomial? Well, it turns out the procedure looks almost exactly the same with one small difference. We still want to use Pascal's triangle or the method where we use the factorials to find the coefficients, except when it comes to the sign, we will have alternating plus and negative signs. So let's write it out as if we had a plus b to the fifth power. So here you can see that a plus b to the fifth power will get these as the numerical coefficient. So that means that this would then look like a to the fifth power. I will leave out the sign that will give me 5 times a to the fourth power b to the first power, 10 a to the third power b squared, 10 a squared b to the third power, 5 a b to the fourth power, and 1 b to the fifth power. So that's what we would get if we did a binomial expansion of a plus b to the fifth power with positive signs everywhere. But now we'll have to alternate the sign. We start with a positive sign that will become negative, this will become positive, this will become negative, this is positive, and this is negative. And that's as simple as it is. If it's a minus b, we start with a positive sign, then a negative, a positive, negative, positive, negative, all the way through. And that will work for any binomial expansion, regardless as to the number of terms. So a minus b to the sixth, a minus b to the seventh, will work exactly the same. You start with a positive in the front, and then you get negative, positive, negative. Of course, when there's an additional term, then the last one will be plus b to the sixth, minus b to the 7, plus b to the 8, and so forth, when we have these greater expansions with larger exponents. But the methodology is exactly the same. You get the numerical coefficients from the Pascal triangle or from the method using the, um, the um, factorials. And then when we write the exponents starting with a to the fifth, a to the fourth, a cubed, then with b to the zero, b to the first, b to the second, we do all, everything exactly the same, and at the very end, when we plug in the signs, we always start with a positive on the first one, then it's negative, positive, negative, alternately, until we've added all the signs, and that is how it's done.